Hey, what's up, guys? The Sky. My name is Ray Darkness. Thank you for watching this video. And today I'm bringing you some wicked sick, epic, hectic, shit spitting thing. I don't know. COD 4 reflex gameplay. The reason I used those kind of words to describe it was that it actually was pretty hectic and insane and crazy towards the end because I was just going from person to person to person, picking them off one by one. And I had like this cool, like, keep on my toes, hectic feel that I hadn't have playing games in a long time. So, hope you guys enjoy the super cool raw 47 and 3 team deathmatch gameplay while I actually update you with something before I get on topic which is the top 5 plays I created a google form you guys can visit it through the tiny roll link in the description because the actual link is freaking huge so go ahead and click that link if you want to submit clips to the top 5 I only need 2 more for this week's week 9 I'm trying to keep this good quality, you guys, and hopefully this will resolve issues because you actually have to upload your clip to YouTube, and that will resolve, hopefully, the format issue, or at least let you guys see that you have an incorrect format before actually sending it in, and there's all, like, th the directions on what you need to sub tell me before your clip can go on the top five, as well as, like, requirements and all that good stuff, and because you guys are so awesome and willing to change for me and hopefully this was actually gonna work out best for me and you guys is I made you guys a background and a free intro template which is actually kind of like a intro sequence kind of thing it's really quick it's like a 15 minute render in Cinema 4D uh, you guys can check out a preview of it on my tutorial channel FD Tuts links in the description below and again that desktop background is just a quick one I made of Black Ops 2 I thought it it looked pretty cool so I'm sharing it with you guys because you guys are so awesome and I'm actually doing a cool little contest is put a comment in my comment section in my channel not the video in my actual channel leave a comment funny comment really really funny make me burst out laughing make me hurt to my core and within four days whichever comment made me laugh the most I'll give you guys a whatever you want an intro background whatever I best that backgrounds. I'm really in the graphics making mood. So now that we've got all that covered, let's get to the topic at hand, which is why Call of Duty, particularly COD 4, is my favorite. So first off, I started off with Call of Duty Big Red 1. That was my first Call of Duty I ever played. It was on PS2. I played the shit out of it. I loved the campaign. It was so fun. It really just thrusted me into like the World War II era. It made me enjoy and learning about World War II and everything that happened it was such interesting I find that really interesting so I love that game then Call of Duty 3 came out which disappointed the shit out of me because it frankly wasn't very fun it was like too linear too boring I couldn't tell any real mission apart they were all pretty much the same thing run shoot people I didn't really like it then I got a Wii and guess what I got World at War and I'm like fuck yes had a World at War. I played the campaign. I loved it. But I didn't actually ever play online on my Wii ever before. I didn't even know I could connect to the internet until I found out I need. I thought I needed a cable. Turns out it has Wi-Fi built in. Hooray! So I started playing online. It was my first first-person shooter that I ever played online and I loved it. I loved everything about World at War. The campaign was fun. Especially the rush part. That, that was fun. The uh, Japanese like Pacific theater. I, I, I honestly didn't know what the hell that was about, but I really liked the will at work multiplayer. The weapons were awesome, except for the MP40. Perks, all balanced and awesome, except for Second Chance and Juggernaut. And of course, kill streaks. I love dogs. They're so furry and cute when they bite your throat. And it's just awesome. I, I loved it. I can't say awesome enough, but it was just an awesome hell. It was epic. I, I loved everything about it. The snipers, every bolt action sniper was spectacular. You could use a bayonet, you could use a scope, you could use whatever you want. You could use a freaking sniper scope on an M1 Garand, which was spectacular. I loved it. Moizanagant, Osaka, all these weapons, freaking loved it. I loved the car, car 98, they were all so fun. Then COD 4 came out, which for those of you who don't know, COD 4 came out after World at War for Wii, because we never got it. And it was awesome. I loved every single gun. Everything seemed really balanced. I mean, I, I'm usually an advocate of games that have just 
boatloads of content. And frankly, even though this game didn't have a lot, I loved it. It was simplistic, it was fun, and just good, raw, fun gameplay. Honestly, the only thing that ruined this game was host M16's P90s, which I could deal with, but the hacking and his ability glitches pissed me off. But I could still deal with it, and I still played the shit out of the game. Then I got a PS3. I played a lot of that. I played a lot of Modern Warfare 2 because, frankly, I don't really have any friends in real life that actually play Wii, which made it made PS3 obvious choice for like having fun. But it still doesn't beat the the raw gameplay feeling you get when using motion controls. That's just so much funner, you know. And that's what I really, really enjoyed about playing and sticking to the Wii, which is why I'm gonna go ahead and say Black Ops didn't really impress me that much. I got it first for PS3. I played the shit out of it. Frankly, only because of, of my friends were playing on it. And on my Wii, I actually played a lot of it until I got to ranked and then until I broke my controller because I turned off on me. And, you know, a lot of stuff happened to me during that. And the computer broke and all this stuff. Black Ops was like a... It broke my Wii. It broke my PC probably. I don't know. I just didn't like it. It, it, it really like frustrated me. PS3 version was alright. Black, I, I, I will admit, I did have fun on the Wii version until all that bad luck shit happened to me. Because, I mean, come on. That never happened to me in any other Call of Duty except for this one. It's ridiculous. Then Modern Warfare 3 came out. And, frankly, I hate it. I mean, it's, it's kind of fun to play only with friends. But, and, and I probably would play the shit out of it on Wii. I, I play the shit out of any Call of Duty on Wii because it's just so fun. But, you know, all the hacking... Sure, they patch it like immediately after two months, probably, and then it gets fucking hacked like after a week or two. So it's just, it's not that very fun. So I'd have to say, even though World of War had a lot of hacks too, I hardly ever ran into any of them. And just, I actually played, I didn't care about my kitty, I didn't care about stats, I didn't even know about stats. I thought those were just random numbers telling me that I was good. I, I just played. How I played, I would camp with a sniper. I wouldn't run around quick scoping. I didn't care. I didn't know about quick scoping. I thought, as a sniper, I was supposed to sit in my sniper's nest and shoot people. I did that. I had fun doing that, and I loved doing that. And then all this quick scoping came in, and I loved doing that too. It was freaking fun doing that, and it caught a four. But I honestly had to go with the, my best choice is that the game that I always had the most fun in has to be World at War. Even though it did have its annoying little things, pissed me off. It was the first game I ever played online. First first person shooter. I loved playing it. I was like an innocent child. Like a virgin to the Call of Duty series basically. I didn't know about shit. I just played the game to have fun. I didn't do it for YouTube. I didn't do it for anyone but myself. I just went on there to play. It was fun, basically. It was just raw. I'm saying raw a lot. I don't know what's wrong with me. It was fun. Simple as that. It was just really, really fun, and I loved it so much. Being, I would like, if I'm using a submachine gun, I would run. If I was using a sniper, I would camp. If I was doing whatever I was doing, I would have fun. And sure, it would mostly only be in team deathmatch because that's like the only mode I ever really played. I really never tried free-for-all or hardcore modes, except for that one game, Survival, I think it was called. That was pretty fun. I loved using pistols, and I loved killing glitchers. I mean, I remember one time where I was on Cliffside. There was a glitcher under the map. It was me versus him. He killed my entire team. I waited inside that temple thing in, in Cliffside, and he actually got back out into the map, stupidly, came after me. All I had was my pistol. pistol at him. And I laughed so hard that day because I killed this guy who destroyed my team. And, I, and it was fun. And COD 4, I, I feel like most of my innocence was gone. Like in, in World at War, I just played. I would seriously just wait by the cliffside and wait for a dog to come at me. I would jump off the cliffside just so the dog would jump, leap after me, and kill itself. I didn't care about anything. And frankly, I still don't care about it. But I, it still it just lingers in the back of my mind where in World at War I never had any clue of any of this. I just did it for fun and that's 
why exactly exactly why I like to do this now. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys check out my previous last two videos. If you guys want to see some good entertainment, check out my Minecraft video. That was really, really fun doing it with uh, Fate Wee, and I hope to do more videos with him soon. Anyways, guys, Free Darkness out.